Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear brothers and sisters, we are now going to come to the Quran. I'm so excited that this book is with us and that alhamdulillah Allah has given me the ability to be able to read the Quran in Arabic and to understand the meaning of the Quran. And so I want to encourage you to try to do that. Come with me, insha'Allah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la tuqaddimu bayna yadayillahi wa rasulihi wa attaqullah. يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله واتقوا الله ان الله سميع عليم Dear brothers and sisters This is surah al-hujurat This surah is made up of 18 verses just 18 verses It is the 49th chapter of the Quran. This surah was revealed in Medina. It is revealed after the ninth year or in the ninth year after the conquest of Mecca, the, blood, the, the bloodless, the peaceful conquest of Mecca in the eighth year. Then in the ninth year, a lot of the Bedouin Arabs started to accept Islam, they started sending delegations, emissaries to the Prophet wasallam in Medina to accept Islam on behalf of their tribes. And these Bedouin Arabs that will be coming to the Prophet wasallam, they used to interact with the Prophet wasallam based on their own way of life. Probably their behavior was acceptable to them in their own culture. But with the Prophet wasallam, that was not acceptable. And as a result, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this surah, surah 49, surah al-hujurat, which is made up of uh, 18 uh, uh, verses. I have recited ayah number one. Let me give you the meaning. Inshallah, I will be giving us the meaning and then we will extract lessons from this verse that we have read. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal amanu, O you who believe. And I think it pertains you and me, because we believe in la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. La tuqaddimu bayna yadayi lahi wa rasulihi. Do not put yourselves forward in the presence of Allah and his messenger. What taqu Allah? Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah has sami'un alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing and he is all knowing. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, what does this actually mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to begin this ayah with a call to us and to even refer to us as believers is a very big honor for us. It is an, a, an honor for you to be referred to as a believer. We have to work very hard for it. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, O you who believe. La tuqaddimu, don't put forward. Taqdim in Arabic is to be ahead. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is stopping us from putting ourselves ahead of Allah and his messenger. لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله Don't put yourself ahead of Allah and his messenger. Here is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of us or is the messenger of Allah in front of us? No. When you recite 
the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or when the verses of the Quran are recited, then you are in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, is, is mentioned, you are in the presence of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Quran is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sunnah is the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when these are recited, we should have a behavior that befits the status of these two things, the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, some of the Mufassirun say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to us, لا تقدموا بين يد الله ورسوله Do not put your opinions Do not put your opinion ahead of the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sometimes we will be holding views or ideologies that we have received from our parents, from our culture, and we hold these views, these ideologies to high esteem. And sometimes we give priority to these views, this ideology, over the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This should not be the behavior of a Muslim. Anything that we want to do, we have to try and find out what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in this what does the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say in this particular matter? So that we do not prefer our own opinion or the opinion of a human being over the, the statement or the ruling or the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that لا تقدموا بين يد الله ورسوله Don't put yourself ahead of Allah or his messenger. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ and he says إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ and indeed Allah is all hearing and he is all knowing see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautifully ending or concluding this very important ayah with one of the two uh, with two of the beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, two of the qualities of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as sami' al-alim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing and he is all knowing. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is guiding us to something very important, saying to us that in anything that we are doing, we have to obey his guidance and the guidance of his messenger. We should not put the opinion of ourselves, the opinion of our parents, the opinion of our culture ahead of that of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because guidance is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we have to always have this feeling that Allah is all hearing and he is all knowing. I just want you to imagine my dear brothers and sisters if you are working in an office where there are sophisticated cameras that are able to pick every sound that you utter, that are able to bring any image of you, every corner of the office, anywhere that you go in the office, your sound and your image will be recorded. My dear brothers and sisters, would you actually have any thought of abusing a customer? Would you actually have any thought of refusing a duty that is bounded upon you? Would you actually have any thought of saying anything which is contradictory to that which you have been uh, uh, taught? No, you will not because you know that you are being watched and you, they listen to whatever thing that you are saying. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us hold on to this ayah, hold on to it, understand it, implement it in our lives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, فَلَا 
لا يؤمنون فلا وربك لا يؤمنون حتى يحكموك فيما شجر بينهم ثم لا يجدوا في انفسهم حرجا مما قضيت ويسلمون تسليما by allah they will never be true believers until they use you muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as their arbitrator in everything in anything that happens between them in all their affairs and that they will accept your judgment they will accept anything that comes from you and they will not find any trouble in accepting it they will surrender peacefully and accept any judgment from you so as as a result we see the companions ridwanullah alayhim during their own time anything that they want to do they will consult with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they want to know what does the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say about this particular action that they want to 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 do to take what uh, does allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide his messenger on this particular issue that they want to uh, uh, deliberate on because of this they were a successful generation and we have to follow this uh, uh, guidance that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us and we try to emulate the example of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to emulate the example of the companions ridwanullah alayhim we do not just read the quran and ignore the commandments of the quran but we have to read the quran and try to implement the commandments of the quran again allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la tuqaddimu bayna yaday allah wa rasulihi wattaqullah inna allah samiun alim don't put yourself forward before allah and his messenger allah is all hearing and all knowing assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله واتقوا الله